In this video, I'm going to show you how to create Lucy out of the Billy 2.0 base model. So let's begin with uh, Crazy Talk Animator 2 already opened. Uh, make sure you can see the Content Manager. And in the Content Manager, uh, navigate your way to the Actors tab. Here you're going to open up the Characters uh, tree menu and uh, select the Cinestar folder. Once you have done that, uh, you'll see the Billy base model right there. So let's go ahead and grab a, um, an instance of Billy and just drop it into the stage. With the character now on our stage, you can see that he's basically just a base model. There's nothing fancy about him. So let's change that. Let's turn him into Lucy. With the character selected, let's click on the Character Composer button. And once inside of the Character Composer, uh, let's navigate uh, in the Content Manager to the Head section. OK, as you can see here, uh, we have a face that is basically um, well inside of the Cinestar folder. We have Billy's face and we have Lucy's face. They are slightly different. Lucy has a bit of a pointier chin. So we're going to go ahead and drop uh, Lucy's uh, face onto Billy. See, notice how the face changed now. There's a slight uh, difference there in the facial structure. Now let's go to the brow section, navigate to the Cinestar folder, and we'll find Lucy's eyebrows. We'll just drop them onto Billy. OK, now that that's been done, let's uh, go to the eye section. Look, in the, look under the Cinestar folder. You'll see Billy's eyes, Lucy's eyes, and whatever other characters you may have. So let's drop an instance of Lucy onto Billy. And there we go. Let's go on to the nose. Same thing. We're going to grab Lucy's nose. And the mouth. I'm going to drop it in there. <clears throat> and Lucy also has a set of distinctive ears that are different from Billy's ears. So we're going to go ahead and grab those and put them in there. All right, so now that we have done that, uh, we just have one more thing to do. We're going to look for the hair. Um, let's see here. So anything inside of the Sinistar folder will usually be compatible with Billy's characters, um, at least for now. Um, right now, let's see here, there's Lucy's hair. We're going to drop that in there. And the idea of this is that the more uh, character mods you have for Billy, the more uh, variety you have as far as the original characters that you can build by mixing and matching various parts. Uh, so now we have uh, Lucy's uh, full original face uh, recreated. Uh, let's go on to the body section. And we're going to go to, let's see here, the upper section under the Cinestar folder. Let's see here. Uh, Lucy wears the Sailor Girl uh, shirt. We're going to drop that in there. As far as hands are concerned, her hands are basically the same as Billy's hands. So we're going to leave those alone. We're going to go to the lower uh, body section, to the Sinistar folder, and we're going to use the harem pants. I'm going to drop those in there. All right, so, so far so good. She's still barefooted, so let's go to the shoes section. And uh, la, 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 la. girly loafers, those are the ones that come with uh, Lucy. So let's drop those in there. And there you have it. Now we have Lucy. Uh, you'll notice that because we didn't update her hands, uh, we're stuck with this um, 
uh, grayscale hands, and we can fix that either by you know uh, when you adjust your own colors uh, using the um, um, the style um, the render styles feature, or using the stylizers. Uh, for example, Lucy uses the same uh, color API that Billy does, so the skin is going to be skin one. Any modification you do to skin one is going to be affecting everything in the character. So all we have to do is really is just kind of change the hue a little bit. So skin one already changes to whatever we want. And this is the hard way of doing things. Ideally, what you want to do is um, uh, use the Billy's uh, stylizers for easy access to all the different uh, color groupings. Uh, the um, the custom one is the outline for the skin. So you'll notice that it's a little bit of a gray outline here while everything else has another outline. So I can modify the outline individually for the overall skin outline. And uh, you can do that if you don't if you don't have the uh, the stylizers. But if you bought the Billy uh, 2.0 the starter pack, it did come with stylizers and my own little color um, workflow thingy. So let's go to the scene uh, tab. We're gonna go to props, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for the Sinistar folder, and I'm going to go into Billy color. We'll go for the presets. And we're going to begin uh, with the skin. Where is it? Let's see here. All right. So there's the skin. I have various skin presets here. So let's uh, let's go ahead and use the A8 preset. Let's see how that looks. And we're going to take that color. With that selected, we're going to use this paint bucket here. Apply selected render style and apply it to our character. So now our entire character changed according to that style. Let's go for the nails, and I'm actually going to zoom in a little bit so you can see this character a little bit better. This just gives you a final li nice little professional polish. It's much better than using the default Reillusion um, uh, render style settings. Uh, but once you have this, you can further tweak it with the render style uh, options. So uh, I used the A8, so I'm going to make my nails a little bit lighter than the A8. So I'm going to use A7 for the fingernails. With it selected, I'm going to apply it. And there we have it. Uh, let's see here, lips. Uh, let's let's go ahead and use an I say maybe an A9 to make to make our lips a little bit darker than the rest of the skin. Uh, there we go. Or maybe a little bit even darker than that. So keep in mind that these are all just starting points. Once you have your 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 your, your basic color already uh, colored. You can modify them further using uh, the render styles. Or if that wasn't uh, good enough for you, what you can do is take this particular uh, stylizer, use the render style feature. Let's see, there's the lips. And we can adjust the saturation, for example, the hue. So let's say we want to give, give her some kind of like red lipstick, maybe. adjust the brightness. This is all totally up to you at this point. So once you have, um, let's see here, once you have your lip color the way you want it, you just kind of drop it back in there. And see now she has, now she has red lips. Okay, so let's, uh, let's move on from this. Um, uh, let's see, what else can we change? No, we're not going to change anything else. I think you get it at this point. Uh, but if uh, you want to continue doing that, I mean, you can continue changing the hair, the eyes, the eyebrows, different colors as far as your, your color options are concerned. So maybe you want her to be a blonde girl, you know? Here's like a yellowish hair. We'll take that, and uh, we're going to apply it, okay? And you can play around with these characters, okay? You don't have to use them as is. The idea is that you create your own custom uh, variations of these things. So we can go into Character Composer and um, adjust the proportions, or you can change the features. I mean, you don't have to be stuck with uh, Lucy's original uh, items. I and mean, I can use Icarus's hair. Uh, let's see here. Content Manager. 
body, head. There's Icarus. We'll drop an instance of Icarus's hair, and now she has a little bit more of a, a short hairstyle type of thing. There we go. So this is totally up to you. I'm going to back out of there. At this point, it, you are pretty much all uh, on your own as far as your creativity is concerned. Uh, we can make her a little bit older by adjusting the stretchy feature. Maybe make her a little bit more of a teen character instead of a, you know, a, a young teen or a tween. So we adjust her, her height maybe. Uh, I, you know, go back here and readjust the head. Just kind of tweak it to match your the look and feel that you're going for. Use that mirror function on the limbs so that any changes that you make are applied to the rest of the character. Um, So there you go, that's Lucy. Um, make sure you um, give your character a good look over. Sometimes there is a little bit of uh, discrepancies there. So like when you see stuff like this, all you have to do is kind of adjust it. Let's see. Just kind of adjust your character however you want her to look. So there you have it.